Control of 26 governor's offices and both chambers of Congress are up for grabs. Some races expected to be too close to call by this evening. Yeah, later on CBS this morning, Jimmy Yukas is actually here in Las Vegas for CBS covering the youth vote, and we'll have more on the midterm elections as well. Yeah, she was on the UNLV campus, so we'll get that. Meantime, yeah. here in Nevada, of course, we're keeping an eye on some of our biggest races. We have team coverage of today's midterm vote. Hector Mejia will walk us through how to make sure you get to the polls, but we start with Nia Wong and look at some of the close races. Good morning, Nia. Good morning, Kirsten and John. Nevada is one of several battleground states when it comes to these midterm elections in the country. So a lot of eyes are on us, especially when it comes to our Senate, our third congressional district, as well as our gubernatorial races. Candidates are expected to cast their votes today, including right here at Kenny Gwynn Middle School. This is where Democratic candidate Steve Sisolak, along with his daughters, are expected to vote. He faces Republican candidate Adam Laxalt for the governor's seat. If Sisolak wins, Nevada could get its first first Democratic governor in 20 years. Nearly 554,000 Nevadans voted early. Democrats showed a slight lead, but it is still way too close to call. And here's how candidates are feeling about the big day. It's a tight race. I'm feeling energized today. We're out meeting a lot of voters, trying to get people out to vote. Uh, still a third of the vote is going to come in tomorrow, which is obviously very important to us. we got to get in and get our share of that. We are going to fight for the Nevada that we all love, the Nevada that gives people opportunity. Stick with 8 News now for complete coverage of these midterm elections, and we will also have candidate reactions, speeches, and analysis tonight on air and online at lasvegasnow.com. Reporting live, Nia Wong, 8 News Now. Thank you, Nia.